Hello Culture Cast, this is Joshua Huang delivering the first 90 seconds to culture video cast. Minimal modern art. A black square worth millions of dollars. So just recently, as of this recording, this painting by Pierre Mondrian was auctioned off by Christie's for 21.6 million euros. Huh? How is it that such a seemingly simple painting can be worth so much money? More fundamentally, what is the reasoning behind minimal art? First, we need a little context. After World War II, the center of the art world moved from the now very war-torn Paris to New York. Artists, classified as abstract impressionists, gained popularity. Paintings of this movement emphasized emotionality and the journey of the artwork. Brushes, if used at all, were used as to show the brush strokes. They're very painterly. Paintings can be very busy and complex. Where there's an action, however, there is always a reaction. The reaction was minimal art. Minimal art, also known as literal art, came about in the 1950s and 60s in New York, in direct opposition to abstract expressionism. They very explicitly stated that their art was not self-expression. Minimal art strives for objectivity and inner logic. Exponents of minimal art reduce the object to stringently simplified, often geometrical shapes. They work with industrial products such as metal tiles in the case of three-dimensional art. If you enjoyed this video, please check out 90secondstoculture.com for more videos and a load of 90-second podcasts much like this.